okay so let's take a look at how you can set up cockroach db on windows so first thing go to cockroachlabs.com and here we check for the download right so we will check deployment options here you have serverless dedicated self-hosted so we find the core option so we click on this link it should take us to documentation here you can see we have cockroach db on windows with this particular link i can download or i can use permission option so i'm going to download the zip file and here i have downloaded this and also extracted this in one of the directory and it has one exe and one lib folder containing some files so i need to copy this address as text then i will have to find the environment variables we open that and here within path you can edit and at the end you can put this particular path at the end right so once we do all of that we can open terminal right so here you can see if i type in cockroach version simply use cockroach version or you can also use cockroach double dash help either one of that would work so if you type in cockroach version you will find the current version that we just downloaded distribution ccl then it will also show you this go lang and see compiler version right so pretty much validates that we have installed the cockroach db on windows right next thing we will see how to create one single cluster right you can also try out some of the other commands if you want so if you click on start a local cluster then choose start from binary right if you want quick testing you can definitely try this part out so we have completed the corporate db installation next we will run a single node cluster right so if we choose say cockroach then start single node let's see what works here we can add the attributes right like listening to url file external directory and so on right you can also use listening address right so you can use specific address like http address socket directory etc so let's for a test we can run this command let's see what it will return okay if it says something like it also needs to look over a particular port or so here you can see it is asking me to set up the certificate right to do that i will have to use this insecure for insecure cluster right so insecure right and we have our cockroach db started right it will tell you that your node has started running at particular part here you can also point out your one of the nodes showing the address 8080 the noam part is basically my local host name so it will tell you that noam but other than that there is nothing about that name right it's not a domain also it's just localhost 8080 now we have web interface as you can see it will show you the capacity node stack replication status right then you have option for matrix so it will show you various matrix showing how many queries were run 
right select update install insert and currently we are not running any so everything is empty right. then comes things like say sql activity same like matrix everything will be empty for now then you have insights so currently we have no workload no schema so nothing then have hot ranges you can immediately see the updates on this the job table stats zones then you have jobs here listed then there is schedule and if it's running anything schema telemetry sql stats etc then you have advanced debug right so you can see the options here right so for now we can move to databases right here you can see we have like three databases here showing default db right notice that you don't have any option to create from the web id for now right so what we are left with is basically right so if i want to access this particular sql option then i will have to just copy this right and paste it in some of the admin tools like db1 or so so let's say if i choose db1 and open this so we are going to url for connection notice that ssl mode is disabled because i use insecure mode right i will have to set up the certificate right so we will also take a look at that part right so here you can see option for insecure and there is also option for cert directory so we mentioned the cert directory there so we will have to also download the certificate so here you see cockroach cert right you can use cockroach cert open ssl or custom ca so let's see if we choose the cockroach ca cert so what we can do is we can create the ca cert and key by using a particular path and part to CA key, right? So we can use this particular option, right? You can also use it for node as well, and client cert key, etc. Right? So this is something you will have to manually create. For example, as you can see here, they created two directories, cert and safe directory. Then they pointed out your cert to that directory key to another directory right so basically when you use create dash ca you are basically generating for that directory right and then you can use basically move to that directory give it the permission this is specific for linux and a mac right then comes the pair right for your nodes then you can upload right and it should work right so for now if i just go to this dviewer right and if i choose connection and if i use cockroach db from others you can see cockroach db and here you can see everything that you have you can also pick the url basically it is jdbc url you can also use this option let's see if this works so if it gives you that option you are good to go so we download the driver so url is invalid so we'll have to edit everything so edit the connection make it host let's see database we have default db right we don't have password 
suppose scale pg pass so root should do right then we can click ok let's see if that works we can also check it was 8080 so we will have to make changes also you will have to check a uh, few more settings like okay so this was the jdbc url so we will copy this right and we come back to dbweaver connection and we choose url right and we can use disable ssl mode and root user you can use postgresql authentication or database native so you will have to give password so we will go with postgresql pg pass let's see if that works right so can't get pg pass and there you go we managed to connect so the change we made here in connection is basically you will have to copy this particular jdbc url and then come back to your dbweaver put it into the url option connect by url and then check the database native and click ok should connect to your default db here can now go ahead and create table right so in this case you will be creating a schema right so if you check the view database option you will see you have two default schemas which is public and crdb internal so everyone has that there as well right so if you made it to this part you managed to download the cockroach db you set it up on your windows system and also verified how it connects to dbweaver